What's good, Greatness Gang? Welcome back to another reaction. And today I have a very special reaction for you all from the one and only Bill Medley and a reaction from the Righteous Brothers and an interview from Bill Medley talking about the story of Little Latin Loopy Lou. Okay, I heard that this was one of their first hit singles. So he's going to be talking about that and then we're going to get into the song uh, and then we're going to get into Bill Medley's I Just Want to Make Love to You. Now, I'm very late on that song. You guys told me to react to that a long time ago and I just want to say that I'm sorry for getting to it so late. Uh, the Righteous Brothers brought a lot of you over here to the Greatness Game community. And I'm grateful for you all that are still here with me. Still recommending videos, still supporting their reactions, and still showing love to me. I appreciate you all, so let's get into it. Little Latin Loopy Lou was a song that I wrote, uh, oh boy, I, I probably was 19 years old. And uh, Loopy... Uh, was a girl that I went to school with, Loopy Laguna, and actually we dated for a while. Every hit record is always about a girl. Never fails. And uh, I was writing the song, and I just loved that title, and I loved the way it sang, you know, talking about Little Latin, da, 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 and it just fit, you know, what I wanted to do. And, uh, and Bobby and I, we, we were in a group, the Paramours, there was five of us, and I taught taught the song to Bobby and, and uh, this Ray Maxwell who was the owner of Moonglow Records came in to see us because I'd, I'd, I'd done some background work for some of his people and, and I said you know uh, listen to this song me and Bobby do so we sang it and he said boy I love that I said we ought to record that I said oh, are you kidding he said yeah no let's record it and, but we we didn't want to go under the name the Paramours because it was just Bobby and I doing it, not the Five Oaks. Well, uh, we were, uh, Bobby and I were raised in Orange County, California, and uh, uh, there was a, a Marine base there, and a lot of the, the black Marines heard that there was these two white guys down the street singing, singing rhythm and blues, so they would come in and, and, and uh, like if you saw a great 57 Chevy, a white guy would say, boy, that's a cool looking car. If a black guy saw it, he'd say, boy, that's a righteous looking car. And, uh, and if they liked you, they, liked you uh, they're friendly, they would call you a brother. So sometimes when we were coming to work, they would say, uh, hey, righteous brother, how you doing? Which meant good friend. So we said, and once in a while, they would yell out at the end of the song, that we, hey, right, you know, that's righteous brother. So uh, we, uh, when we did a little Latin loopy loo, uh, we said, let's use the name that the Marines have been calling us. And, we wish they would have yelled out, that's Beatles, brother, but they, but they didn't. And, uh, and, uh, and, you know, uh, what made me laugh about that, because when I did my Righteous Brothers reaction, a lot of you all kept telling me that story, and I've actually heard it from the man himself, so that's pretty interesting. But we, we recorded the song, and, and nothing happened with it. We, then we went down, uh, another friend of ours came and took us, down to this place called the Rendezvous Ballroom in Southern California, which was a surf ballroom. It's where Dick Dale and all, I mean, we were a fish out of water. We were R&B guys. We didn't even want to go down there. But we said, oh, okay. And we would sing it, and it kind of fit the, this surf dance that they were doing. So they said, um, they said, boy, we love that song. We said, well, you know, we record it. You probably can go out and buy it. And uh, or, or order it, and they went out and ordered it. The, 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 the uh, record store said, never heard of it. So they, so Bobby Hatfield and Mike Patterson, uh, who was our, ended up to be our road manager, took about 1,500 of these things, took them to the record store, said, listen, if you sell them, you sell them. If you don't, make Frisbees out of them. And uh, then we told the kids, here's where you can go buy this thing. 
Well, 1,500 kids went down and bought this, bought this record. And in those days, and God, I wish these days were still happening, the, some of the, the radio stations would call the record stores and say, what's, what's selling? So they would kind of know, that's how they knew what this and, uh, and the lady said, well, sold 10 Elvises, I think five Everly Brothers songs, and some record called Little Latin Loopy Loo by the Righteous Brothers, we sold 1,500 of them. And he says, what? He says, send it to me. Send it to him. And in those days, you know, this is like 62, the disc jockeys were always doing record hops. You know, they would go to the local high school or something. You know, and, and so he was advertising his record hop, and he put Little Latin Loopy Loo in the background. Hi, this is Gene Weed. I'm going to be down at the so-and-so club, and they're playing Loopy Loo in the back. And uh, uh, some kids called up and said, what is that record that you were playing? And, and so he, he played it a couple of times, it took off, and we never looked back. If you listen to it, you know. It's crazy the way that a song had to spread basically through word of mouth back then. And it still does today, of course, but like it was such a longer process. And it's like now a website or a streaming service can just put something on the front page. And it's just like, hey, this is the big record, like according to them. And they force it to be the big record. But this people actually made the song the big record back in the day. And so I just wrote lyrics because I had that melody, da 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 doopy loo, you know. And uh, so I just threw all those lyrics in, and 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 and, uh, and yeah, it's a it's a it, it's a stupid little song. I wrote it so I can say it's a stupid little song, but but the truth. And people would ask me, who who God, who wrote? I say I don't know. I, honestly, I don't know. And then Bruce, I heard that Bruce Springsteen was doing. It. In, in his show, and I said, yep, I wrote it, I'll write it again. So were the Chancellors, the surf band hanging out, because I know they recorded it, and then the Kingsman recorded it. Yeah, a lot of guys recorded it, uh, and, and uh, so did Mitch Ryder, yeah. and uh, Paul Revere and the Raiders, and uh, not the group Paul Revere, no, the actual Paul Revere, no, that's how old that song is. No, uh, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of garage bands or gr bands, Loved to do it because it was real simple. Like in our day, we used to do Kansas City. Going to Kansas City because it was real easy uh, and, the, and it was easy to play. Well, you know, uh, Little Latin Loopy Lou and My Babe and a lot of stuff that we did before Love and Feeling uh, was real simple. So a lot of those bands uh, started doing it. And, uh, and then when we went on Shindig, it kind of became... Uh, nationally famous because every week Elvis Presley would have his people call Shindig and say, have the Righteous do Brothers do Little Latin Loopy Loo, because him and his boys would come and see Bobby and I uh, perform, you know, when we first started. Uh, Elvis just couldn't believe that two white guys were doing this. And so every week we were doing... See, even Elvis said he couldn't believe that two white guys were doing that. And when I first heard them, I said, if I close my eyes, no offense, it didn't sound like two white guys were singing back then the way that they were singing. Like, the songs I've heard from them have been heavily soulful so far. Little Latin Loopy Lou and Shindig, so it kind of... Uh, it kind of became nationally known, and uh, this this silly little song that started in a nightclub uh, started the Righteous Brothers. All right, so that's the story of Little Latin Loopy Lou. I listen to the Shindig uh, version, nineteen sixty four. So I'm not going to judge this too harshly because I know the audio quality is going to be pretty low, but I wanted to see the visual. Hold on, let's just 
look at look at the look on Bill's face. He just looking like hell yeah, I wrote this. And look at the ladies in the crowd going crazy. He looking like I did that. I'm the man. What is that dance called? That. When they. What is that called? I always see it in movies. And I see when people try to like make fun of it in movies. What is that dance called? When I hear Bill hit certain notes sometimes, I just hear a little bit of Ray Charles in my mind for some reason. I don't know if that sounds off or not, but yeah. So that seemed like that's a fun, that was a fun song for them to perform back then. I can tell as he got older, he probably didn't want to perform it as much, but uh, that's a nice song right there. So. We're going to get into I Just Want to Make Love to You, Bill Medley. See, that right there reminds me of Ray Charles. I can't 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 I
all your welfare. I don't want to see you sit and blue. I just want to make love to you. Oh, baby, I want to make love to you. Early in the morning, baby. listening to these lyrics and i'm like hey is this like secretly part two to little latin loopy lou was he just still thinking about her when he got older who knows So that was Bill Medley. I just want to make love to you. Yes, you all were right. I needed to hear that. Very good song. Straight to the point. Nice medley. Melody for Mr. Medley. Um, so soulful. Uh, I'm looking at the album cover. And I, uh, the best of Bill Medley album cover. And I'm looking at the songs. I see one that says Borrowed Time. And it says a, it's a duet with Gladys Knight. And I love Gladys Knight and the Pips. So that, that seems like a very interesting collaboration. Uh, I need to react to more Righteous Brothers. So let me know what, uh, else you recommend. And I thank you all for, watching this with me. Love you guys.